When I started this 30 day challenge, I was really scared that I wouldn't have enough ideas or subject to cover for the 30 days. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna run out after like two weeks, you know? But I'm realizing that as you work daily on like a creative project, ideas kind of spark endlessly. You can go in, off into tangents and go deep into one specific thing and just that spurs a bunch of other ideas. It's just crazy if you've never tried like something like that. Creativity is really like a muscle. The more you use it, the more it grows and it kind of like is an endless well of cool things that you don't know about. So I'm glad that I discovered that. Today I want to do something simple, but something that I'm really interested in, and that is a line work, expressive line work. So um, that's going to be like an ongoing thing for me, I think. Basically, I want to do studies in preparation for large format paintings involving expressive, bold lines. So when I say it's going to be an ongoing process, I mean that I don't expect to find something really cool in one session or one sitting, but more like going into different directions and kind of like work my way through what is interesting to me. So if I look at the magic wall, <laughs> these lines are interesting, but they're very straight. This is more like a shape line. And I want to find a way to kind of bridge these two together and have a hybrid between straight lines and expressive lines and how to use that rectangular space and make it like a full painting where the lines go to the edges and go out of the edges and kind of like work within the composition instead of being in the middle of the page. I want to work in a format that is one by two, the ratio one by two, so like six by 12 or whatever. And that is a very elongated ratio. I have trouble with that format. We spoke about it before. I have an idea for a really large painting that would be 72 by 36. I wanna try and explore that format a little bit further. Line work. Don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey, 
I made 20 pieces today, so I kind of went overboard in a good way. It's easy to get really carried away when you do very simple shapes like that because it there's no details and it goes really fast so you can pump out a hundred in no time. I'm gonna just overlay them a little bit quicker than usual because I don't want the video to be too long, you know? You can pause it if you want to examine some closer. I'm happy with some of them. Some of them are like meh, but some, some are really interesting. I like the edges of the lines. That's what I focused on the most. At some point, I kind of discovered that if I pinch the bristles of the brush, I could get really like interesting edges. One thing also that I like about the process that I went through today is that I would do something kind of randomly or like with a gut feeling not thinking about it and with whatever i found interesting within that piece i would bring it to the next piece and try to kind of play off that first idea but bring it a little bit further or change something and see if it if it would improve it so you'll see pieces that kind of like go together before I'm, before i move on to another idea and in doing it that way, I discovered things that worked slightly better and things like what basically what I liked and what I didn't like as much. I find like that's a good way to go repeat the same idea multiple times and see how it morphs. And it kind of spilled into circles again. <laughs> At the end of the session, I went back to a few of the line work that I did that was for me less interesting or redundant and I added some graphic elements to it like eggs or like different elements to see where I could go with them some of them were interesting some I'm not too sure about it's impossible for me to judge at this stage the general trend that I'm finding through all this study of black and white is I've said it many times, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, is really when I have a smaller amount of black, a big amount of white. I also like rough edges and I really like the random expressive forms, which is good and bad because it's hard to create or recreate and it kind of happens almost on accident sometimes i could kind of recreate some things that i like but but the works that really have like that a magical quality i feel is kind of like random and it's caught and it's there so i'll keep that in mind and at the beginning i was saying that i wasn't expecting anything or to find anything that i would necessarily want in a big format i'm happy to say that i there's a few of them actually that I would really love to see in that large 36 by 72 format. Now I have like probably at least two, three, maybe more, maybe three to five that I would want as a large format. It's a win. I'll see you tomorrow.